it's easier to think of things you can't use it for than things you can. If you want to connect a remote worker to an expert and collaborate on an issue, it's perfect. We do uh, construction, electrical construction, uh, gas plants and, and well sites. We also do maintenance and uh, commissioning services. You know, we were always challenged and, and everybody in our industry is challenged with, you know, how do you, how do you keep pace with, uh, with the amount of work in the, mar the market, you know, and what happens when you have two clients that need the same guy on the same day. And that's something that we were really struggling with. And so that's really where we saw a real good fit with, um, with the hollow ends. The process is, I'm a field worker, I come into a, a situation, or I'm doing construction, and I'm, I've come to this point in construction uh, where I'm not sure uh, what to do. They would take the Microsoft HoloLens 2, uh, put it on their head, and using the Remote Start Spark software, call an expert, or call a technician that has more experience than, than they do. That technician can see what they see, hear what they hear, and then they together collaborate on either the 3D building drawing that they're looking at or the service event or the service issue that is in front of them. The expert can draw, annotate, communicate, all hands-free with the image, the drawings, or with the spec sheets all overlaid in the real world. So that's the real power of augmented reality is that it isn't immersive. I can have it on, be in the field, see what's out there for real, as well as get information from my expert that's gonna help me troubleshoot and resolve the issue. We had a situation where we had a client with a piece of equipment down, and we had a, our, our, our best technician for that, our expert in that, in that situation wasn't available to go. And we realized that if we had technology like this, we could send any technician over there, and it would have been like having the expert there. There's not a service industry on the planet, in my belief, that couldn't benefit from this technology. I get really excited about this stuff. I think it's going to change the world.